In this video, we will finish our animated cartoon by using loops. Loops are an important tool in programming. They can save us a lot of work. Let's continue with our program. In this program there is one object, a stick figure, which I have drawn by myself. This object has two looks. At one look, the stick figure has the arms up, and at the other one, the arms are down. Just like an old animated cartoon, the object should move by changing its look. I already added some code. Let's take a look at it. At the beginning I changed the size of the object. Then the object waits a second before it changes its look. Then it waits another second till it changes its look again. Let's test this program. Ok, it works. But wouldn't it be better if our stick figure moves for the whole duration of our program? For this we need a lot of bricks. No, just kidding. Actually one brick is enough. I just go to the category control and tap on the brick forever. I place this brick above my first weight brick. Every time this brick is placed, another brick is placed at the end of all bricks, which is called end of loop. Let's take a look at our program. It's doing the same as before, except our object doesn't stop its movement. Every brick which is inside forever and end of loop will be executed forever till the program stops. A similar brick is repeat 10 times. The difference to forever is that you can specify how often something should be executed. You can also place more bricks at the end of this loop, which isn't possible at the forever loop. With loops we can save a lot of time. Since we can repeat a process many times without adding a lot of code. 